Love Monster and the Scary Something by Rachel Bright. It was way past bedtime o'clock in Cutesville, and everyone was fast asleep. Everyone, that is, except one particular monster. Hello, love monster. You see, just like every night, he'd made a cup of hot milk with chocolate sprinkles and counted his way up the stairs. One, two, three, four. As usual, he'd read 15 and a half bedtime stories, closed his eyes, and snuggled in tight with Teddy. But that night... The harder he tried to nod off, the awaker he was. And the later and darker and spookier it got. So Love Monster lay and listened to the sounds of the shadowy night. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. That was the clock. That was the song of the wind in the leaves. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. That was the Cutesville owls. Russell, Russell. That was the... Wait, hold on. What was that? It sounded like something in the yard. Rustle, rustle. Creak. Now it sounded like something downstairs. He climbed under the comforter, his heart beating loud and fast. There was definitely something out there, and that something had definitely gotten in. Pitter-pat, pitter-pat, pitter-pat. Oh, it sounded like the something had terrible twisterly toenails. Bump, bumpity, scuffle, shuffle, bump. Oh no, it sounded like the something with terrible twisterly toenails was coming up the stairs. Crunch, crunch, crunchity crunch. Eek! It sounded like the something with terrible twisterly toenails had great big teeth, and it sounded hungry. Suddenly, Love Monster could bear it no longer. Somehow, hiding from the something outside got harder than finding something brave inside. So he flung back the covers, flicked on the flashlight, and Weep! went the Samba thing. Hmm. As it turns out, Love Monster hadn't been the only one who couldn't sleep that night. And he wasn't the only one who didn't want to be alone. Russell, Russell, creak, bang, pitter pat, pitter pat, pitter pat, bump, bump, bumpity bump, crunch, crunch, crunchity crunch. crunch. 
And as the tiniest, fluffiest bunny in Keatsville explained to his, I suppose, a bit googly-eyed friend, they both laughed and laughed until their tummies ached. And you know what? The dark just didn't seem that spooky anymore. You see, sometimes it's only when you're brave enough to face what you're afraid of that you find out there was nothing to be scared of after all. The end. Pick a Pumpkin by Patricia Tote, illustrated by Jarvis. Pick a pumpkin from the patch. Tall and lean or short and fat. Vivid orange, ghostly white, or speckled green might be just right. Pumpkin snugly in your arms, wheel a wagon through the farm. Stop for mugs of spicy punch, toffee apples sweet to crunch. Homeward from the pumpkin patch, all your goodies stacked in back. Now, Brush or wipe your pumpkin clean. Rub it smooth and make it gleam. Find the perfect carving space lined with papers just in case. You make a mess. Next. Gather other things you need. A bowl, a spoon for scooping seeds. A tool to trace a spooky face and plastic saws for cutting shapes. Then, gather round a friend or two, form a pumpkin carving crew. Let grown-ups cut the top a bit, big enough for hands to fit. Reach down deep into the hole Grab the seeds and give a pull. Lumpy chunks, sticky strings, clumpy seeds, guts and things. With a spoon, scrape sides neatly. Clean the inside out completely. Now all together, carve the eyes. Giant circles of surprise. Small slit sleeping or one eye peeping. Cross-eyed, crazy, angry, lazy. And below those, make a nose. A triangle, a pinprick, a nose that grows from thin to thick. Under the nose is where the mouth goes. A kiss, a frown, a toothy grin, a zigzag gap cut long and thin, a smirk, a snarl, an eerie O, oh, or pointy fangs all in a row. But wait. Before you light your new creation, first it's time for decorations. Cobwebs strung from post to post, rings of gauzy dancing ghosts, spiders, tombstones, dangling bats, skeletons, and witches' hats. Now quick, slip on gear to trick or treat and grab a sack to hold your sweets. Lift your pumpkin up with pride. March it to a place outside. 
set it safely on the ground, and call the crew to gather round. Ask someone to strike a match. Watch, the candle's wick will catch. See it glow outside your door. Look, it's not a pumpkin anymore. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Its red hot eyes will gaze and flicker. Its fiery grin will blaze and snicker to guard your house while you have fun. Happy Halloween, everyone. The end.